fans at home to the nest, the home of the principal of Christian College Eagles for the South Region Championship game. Hi, I'm Alvin Chapman. Alongside me, Brian, you called me Brian. The Eagles have not been in a championship game since 2016. You played here for three years, haven't been in a championship game. We had 14 wins last year, didn't make it to a championship, but the Eagles, victorious in five of their last six games, find themselves facing the number one seed, Bob Jones University, in the region championship. This is so exciting. I can't say that I'm not jealous that one, that they get the the region tournament here at home, and then two, that they're here. This is amazing. The atmosphere is amazing. I love this. Bob Jones University victorious in 19 of their last 20 games, currently on a four-game win streak. They won the region championship in the 2021-22 school year. What will they have to do to possibly stop the hot streak of the Eagles? We got the advantage. We're at home. That's all we need, honestly. I mean, yes, they're on a winning streak, so are we. We just won the last two games, and um, I really, really, truly think that the home, home court advantage is gonna make the biggest difference here right today. Group 50 is here today. Liam Gertz wearing 5-0 on the back of his jersey. He had 29 points and nine rebounds last night against Tacoa Falls College. 21 points, 12 rebounds, and five blocks in the opening matchup of the playoffs against Trinity Baptist. What is he gonna have to do to can keep that same intensity offensively? Liam Gertz is the, the rock in our team. He always makes the right decision. He's never rushing shots. He's doing really good right now. Even when he's not scoring, he's still impacting the game. So he's gonna be a big, big, big part of this win. Elijah Couples, 26 points, six of eight from long range, and a victory against Johnson University of Florida. What are the Eagles gonna possibly do to extinguish his offensive impact? Last game he didn't play good against us, so we just gotta do what we did the, uh, the other night against him, which is play aggressive on him and, and, uh, and keep that pressure. He averages 14 points per game, had 13 in the last outing. Ladies and gentlemen, 30 seconds until the championship here in the Nets, the Bruins versus the Eagles. Brian, we're gonna have a showdown between one of the two most historic rivals in Christian college history. The 2024 championships are happening here soon. Let's take it over to Logan Toothman for our pregame ceremony. ...exhibiting these Christ-like characteristics and help create a positive environment in which to enjoy today's competition. Welcome to the Nest, the home of the Pensacola Christian College Eagles. This is the 2024 South Region Championship game between the number one seeded Bob Jones University Bruins and your PCC Eagles! At this time, please stand for prayer, followed by the National Anthem. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the many blessings you've given to us. I thank you for getting the teams here safely, keep them safe in the court, and help them to maintain a Christ-like attitude and do everything to your honor and your glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Tonight's sports medicine coverage is provided by the Andrews Institute and Baptist Healthcare, the official sports medicine provider for Pensacola Christian College. 
Starting tonight for Bob Jones. Number two, Elijah Couples. Number three, Trevor Brunson. Number four, Hayes Brush. Number 33, Kenny Garrett Jr. And number 50, Camden Gearhart. The Bruins are led by Coach Burton Uaro. And now the starting lineup for your Pensacola Christian College Eagles. A junior from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, number zero, Brantley Kosky. A freshman from Woodstock, Virginia, number four, Paul Stickles. A sophomore from Crawley, West Virginia, number 15, Caden Pack. A junior from Avon, Indiana, number 25, Aaron Wagner. And a sophomore from Burleson, Texas, number 50, Liam Goertz. The Eagles are led by Coach Jason Bell with assistant coaches Micah Conlon and Mark Getch. Whether you are a Bruins fan or an Eagles fan, I want to welcome you once again to the Nest, the home of the Pensacola Christian College Eagles. Alvin Chapman on call alongside with Brian Ugaldi, the former defensive showstopper here at the college. Camden Gearhart wearing number 50, standing at seven feet. We'll line up with Liam Gertz also wearing number 50, standing at six foot six. And the Bruins will win the tip. And Brian, this is the start now of the South Region Championship. My hands are sweating. I am nervous, but this is, this is good. I can't imagine how nervous these guys are, but they're, once they get into the swing of things, things will start coming in uh, by nature. Brunson will drive. Gearhart with a triple to open things up. That's way off. Brush with a great athletic save, but to no avail for the Bruins offense. Their first offensive possession comes up empty. Yep, they just gotta shake their nerves for both teams. Let's see the Eagles capitalize, calm down, and get a good play in. Here's a stoppage of time by the close side official. I believe an issue with the shot clock. Now putting seven on the shot clock. Pack with the inbound. The Bruins in a two, three pressure zone that normally extends three quarters of the court. Gertz left all alone will fire. That one no good. Brush the rebound. I like it. They didn't rush the shot. Got a good shot. Um, now we just gotta get back on defense here. Gearhart finds couples. Couples will work the baseline. Kick back to Gearhart. Will fire and connect for his second attempt. What a shot by Derek. Camden Gearhart unloads and fires from long range. Wagner guarded by Kenny Garrett Jr. Koski will drive baseline. Gertz, no look inside to Pack. Pack, a lot of contact, no call. I think he was looking for the foul on that one. It's okay, we're, we're just uh, shaking off the nerves right now. Hayes brush guarded now by Koski. Gearhart had a triple to open up scoring for both teams. Brunson makes his defender leave his feet. Another defender as well. Couples will fire, boom! Man, I would love to see the Eagles stay on their feet on, on that defensive position right there. Two just jumping in the air, got him on the air, and, and they got the easy shot because of that. Chance of defense from the parents of the Bruins. Stickles goes inside to pack. Cross court to Koski, holds his pivot foot. Wagner inside to Stickles. Wagner, a foul there on Brunson in a fresh 20. What's your opinion on that call there, Brian? Honestly, I, from my angle, it looked like it came off of the Eagle's foot. I don't know if it was a, was it a foul? Was that I believe it was a foul, okay. yes. Okay, I thought it was out of bounds. They go to Gertz, he'll fire again. Boom! Highway Route 50. Up the freeway, a triple goes. That's good, we got the lid off the basket. Here we go. 
Both teams testing the perimeter. Brush goes corner to Brunson. He's left all alone and bang! Three of four from downtown, the Bruins are. Pack picks up his dribble. Gertz will attack on Brunson. Great feed inside to Pack and a timeout by Coach Bell. A 30 pass, second timeout there with three seconds remaining. Actually a lapse in the period. We'll step aside as the Eagles trail now by four. The Bruins picking up where they left things off from the three-point land. 61% from downtown in yesterday's matchup against Johnson University of Florida. They advance to the championship with an 80 to 51 win. Great cut and a slam by Kenny Garrett. Oh man! Too bad we let that one go, but honestly the Eagles are staying composed. We're getting the shots we want to get. We're staying calm. I, I, I still like the attitude of, of the Eagles out there right now. Kenny Garrick rises to the occasion. Koski to Wagner. Wagner will attack and go down low to Pack. The Eagles get on the board, cutting the deficit from six great to seven. Great, great possessions. To making the right passes. Couples will attack. Couples. Goes to Brush all alone in the corner. Wow! They just can't seem to miss from long range. Four of five from downtown for the Bruins. Got to tighten up. Got to tighten up. This is the crucial point of the game right now in the start. This sets the tone for the rest of the game. So, Gertz will attack. Gertz, one-footed jumper. Wow! Route 50 finds the hole. The Bruins doing a great job moving without the basketball, which is the reason why they're finding so many open three-point opportunities. Brush will fire. Somehow finds Brunson. Cam Gearhart, he'll fire as well. That's no good. Great rebound by Pack. There we go. They got their first miss. Well, second miss, right? Yes, but, second um, miss. Yeah, we'll be good after that. Koski goes to Wagner. Wagner holds his dribble. Goes inside to Koski, reversed to Stickles, intercepted, but a foul within the paint. I think we're doing a good job at um, cutting to the basket. I think we've gotten a couple good looks off the basket, so cutting off the basket, rather. Um, I want to see us keep doing that. Caden Pack with the inbound. Cam Gearhart on the ball. Finds Wagner. Deflected off of Brunson's foot. And Shad Vanderhart checked into the contest here for Pensacola. Rather for the Bruins. Vanderhart, what a game he had. 15 points in the outing against Pensacola in Pensacola. Yeah, he was a big part of that last game. I hope he can get a get him slowed down this game. Gertz off the foot of Brunson and noticed by the far side official. Pack with 20. Gertz somehow gets the ball there. Gertz averaging 25, 10 points, and three blocks in these tournament play. Gertz goes back inside to Wagner. Wagner off the backboard and good. Left-handed hook shot. Great bucket right there. Stayed calm, get in the post. I love the pace we're playing at right now. And a hand check there on Caden Pack. That is Pack's first foul of the game. Also the Eagles' first team foul. Rather second team foul. Kenny Garrett guarded by Wagner. 
Brunson makes his defender leave his feet. Gertz takes that ball, honestly a violation, but rather smart since it would have wiped away a point that could have been a brewing for the Bruins. Brunson the inbounder to Vanderhart. Coming off the screen is Couples. Brunson goes inside to Vanderhart. Vanderhart is fouled inside. Two back-to-back hand-checking fouls on the Eagles' defense. Yeah, they're just getting a little angsty. It's okay, though. They're playing aggressive, which is good. But I uh, want to see get us a stop here without, without fouling. Vanderhart receives the inbound. He'll attack, and it's double teamed. Picks up his dribble, finds Brunson. Brunson will fire. Just short, brushed with a great offensive rebound. Great defense as well by Pack. Brunson with the recovery. Couples retracts the defense. Brush, five points away from a career 1,000. He loses possession. Good defensive effort right there. We're getting the hustle plays right now. Pack goes to Stickles. The Eagles trailing now by three. Koski. Koski will attack, and a traveling violation on Koski. I am not sure about that one. That one called by the near side official. Another turnover by Pensacola, rather their first turnover. Brunson will hand it off to Garrick. Garrick will attack. Garrick to the rim, no good. Rebounds his own miss. Basket, no good. Great defense, no foul, completely vertical. Great job by the Eagles. Wagner will attack. Caden Pack guarded now by Brush. Pack's first turnover of the game. And a foul there on Brunson. Rather on Pack. Malachi Herbster and Titus Anderson to the table here for Pensacola. I think Caden uh, was looking for Stickles down there. Um, maybe the bounce pass would have been better right there, but I love how he's willing to take the risk to, to, get, the, to get the ball to the open man. I love that about his game. Couples now the inbounder, goes to Brunson. Great pin down screen to find Couples on a triple. What a foul! They might have got him there with the, with the off hand when they were guarding him. Um, good job by uh, number two identifying that you know, two guys were on him and, and got the foul, so Elijah, can't blame him. Elijah Couples, an 88% free throw shooter on this season. Here's the first attempt for Couples and it's good. These three free throws can take this lead from a three point lead to a six point lead for the Bruins. I mean, even though the Bruins have been hitting a lot from three, getting a lot of momentum, they got that dunk on that last play. The Eagles are staying composed, honestly. They're not being phased by it. They're still making the right plays over in the offense and, and playing pretty good defense. Their will slow down uh, as the game progresses, I think. A rare miss there for Couples on the other end. Herbster loses the ball. Brunson goes to Garrick. Garrick will attack. Garrick loses possession, secured by Gertz. Koski will attack. Koski picks up his dribble. Gertz will fire. Boom, boom, boom! Highway Route 50, Liam Gertz! Love the play by Brentley Koski. Stayed patient on the offensive end, jump stop, fast to the open guy, and then makes a great play on defense right now. The Bruins with their second turnover of the match. Gertz will work inside, he'll go corner. Koski patiently weaving through the defense. Basket no good, kept alive by Herbster. Another triple, no good for Gertz. An attempt to keep it alive there by Anderson. But we're heading northbound to Greenville and the Bruins. Tostados Pouncey into the game as well for Trevor Brunson. 
What a game we have here on our hands, Brian. I mentioned this pregame. The team that will make the mistake the first will possibly lose this matchup. But so far, both teams playing a rather clean game. Kenny Garrett loses his man. He'll attack to the rim. The bucket and the foul. Yeah, to your point, I mean, it seems like both teams are, it's just one mistake away from losing the game. They're both playing really good basketball right now, both the Eagles and the Bruins. We see the foul right here, but um, I just love the energy right now. Here is Garrick now at the free throw line. He has two field goals already in this game. The throw down dunk, and now an old fashioned three point play, adjusting his shot, shot rather, at the rim. The Eagles now trail by five. Gertz goes to Anderson. Anderson takes a screen from Gertz. Gertz guarded by Shad Vanderhart. Gertz, the inside move, wow! Highway Route 50, I'm telling you. Brian Ugold, the Highway Route 50 goes all the way from Maryland to California. And Gertz making a large tenure here. Great backdoor cut there by Vanderhart. But that pass way too long. Despite the turnover, the Bruins a phenomenal team at moving without the basketball. Yeah, the, you could tell right here in, in this uh, in this game, they are extremely good at moving out without the basketball. But honestly, right now, the Eagles are just containing them. I mean, it just feels like they don't have anywhere to go right now. Love Burks it. already with 10 points. The first guy in double digits here tonight. He's been averaging 25 points in this South Region tournament with 10 rebounds to his name as well. He'll work on Vanderhart and a foul called on the low block. Gersh is staying aggressive the whole game. You can't uh, blame him. He's got 10 points. He's leading all, all players in scoring, so we just want to see him just shoot the ball right now. Gertz goes to Herbster. Herbster double teamed. Conlin, he'll attack. Finds a cutting, Anderson. Anderson to the rim, no good. Kept alive by Herbster. Anderson will find Gertz. Now four seconds. Goes to Anderson, he'll have to fire. And he doesn't even get a shot at the rim. I don't think Anderson was aware of the shot clock on that one. He, he, he was passing out thinking there was more time on the clock. It's okay. I'm not gonna lie, I thought there was a shot that hit the rim there, but that must have been my, my uh, mistake there. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen at home. But here's Pouncey, he'll attack, go to Garrick in the corner. Gearhart finds Couples, Couples double team. Couples goes to Pouncey, Pouncey goes downhill, basket good! Hoop and the horn for Tostados Pouncey! What a basket there. Honestly, great defense by the Eagles there. I mean, that is just better offense by Absolutely. the Bruins. Pouncey taking a great angle at the basket. Instead of driving straight to the rim, kind of goes at a curvature to the basket. Gets a great angle, great position, and a beautiful finish on the other side. Yeah, the angle was great, but honestly, if you saw it, uh, it bounced on the top of the backboard and still went in. Those, those are really cool. That foul on Liam Gertz. That's his first. Pouncey gets the old-fashioned three-point play and stretches the lead. Now to one shy of its biggest. Pack picks up his dribble and goes to the left slot. Gertz nearly loses possession. Goes opposite to Conlin. Back inside to Herbster. Herbster works on Gearhart. Bounce packs to Anderson. Herbster can't get a control of the pass. Hey, Anderson is cutting to the basket. He's getting it. He just has to make the right decision um, when he gets it. But I want to keep seeing him cutting to that basket. Dylan Harris into the game for Cam Gearhart. And now the Bruins have an opportunity to stretch this lead to the largest it's been all game. Crucial stop right here. Hayes will attack. Hayes gets a traveling violation. Kaha 
Foskey will come into the competition here for Titus Anderson. Anderson doing a great job moving without the basketball. Nearly had a beautiful assist as well to Herbst on the low block. Yeah, really good minutes by, uh, by Titus. Pack with the spin move and a foul inside. A little bit of words exchanged there by Pack and number 24. That one, Dylan Harris, the forward for the Bruins. Don't believe that was intentional, but a foul nonetheless. An inbound and a turnover. Actually, not a turnover. Let's see the verse still here still by the ball. official. Still our ball. We'll stay here with the Bruins. Conlin gets his defender in the air. They'll go down low to Pack. Pack goes to Herbster. Great pass from Herbster. They go inside, and Conlon steps out of bounds. Possibly turnover there by the Eagles. The Eagles now scoreless in the past minutes and 45 seconds. The last offensive possession, the Bruins walk in with a traveling violation. Garrick will attack on Conlon. Loose ball and a moving screen on Harris. His second foul, and not even four minutes of play. Herbster and Conlon out of the game for Wilkerson and Wagner. Wilkerson had a great game last game. Only five points, but tremendous defense he executed. Colin had an amazing game yesterday. Great minutes by him. I want to see him keep that momentum and be the spark off the bench that he's been this whole year. Pack goes to Gertz. Gertz will work on the defense. Goes to Koski, a short jumper. Just out of the rim. The Eagles still scoreless in the past two minutes and 30 seconds. Couples goes to Garrick. Garrick to Pouncy in the corner. He'll attack baseline. Not a lot of hope options rather. Couples will work on Pack. Great switch and crossover. Goes to Garrick and he'll fire. Back iron. Koski keeps it alive. Harris the rebound. Pack the security. Pack tipped from behind. Garrick in transition. Garrick to the rim. And now the biggest lead of the game. Eight points for the Bruins. Bruins are doing a good job in transition. They're I mean, they, they, both teams want this, want the win, but they're playing amazing, amazing both teams, but we just gotta get more hustle from the Eagles. Pack, spin move, Gertz will fire. Just off the mark, back to iron, that three goes. The Eagles having a couple possessions without scoring. The Bruins can stretch this lead to double digits. Brush attacks baseline. And another traveling violation by Hayes Brush. Eagles can't lose their identity right now. Playing really good the first five minutes, first 10 minutes. Right now, the Bruins are going on a run. The Eagles have to keep their composure just like they have been. Um, this is just a eight point lead, so it's still, still a ball game. Wagner will fire. That three off the mark. Secured by Vanderhart, couples heading the other direction. Hayes, Brush, goes down low to Camden Gearhart. Brush will fire. That three just out of the rim. Bruins on a 5-0 run despite that last miss. They go inside to Koski. Kurtz will attack. On brush. And a steal by Vanderhart. A couple of tough possessions by the Eagles. I want to see them run a play, get an easy basket, get their composure back. It's tough to play defense when you're not scoring. The Bruins on a 5-0 run. Gearhart down low, rejected by Gertz. Eight seconds to fire. And another traveling violation by the Bruins. Both teams either turning the ball over or unable to find the rim here. Ugaldi, there's a full timeout by Coach 
Jason Bell. And, you know, we're going to take a break here for a second. We have a game on our hand here, folks. But both teams coughing up the ball with turnovers. Alvin Chapman with Brian Ugaldi. The Eagles are on a five minute stint with no points. What's the reason to that, Brian? I mean, honestly, we just were looking at the stats, five turnovers and five turnovers for Bruins as well. I think our turnovers are just mistakes where theirs are just our very good defense. So we just gotta limit those mistakes right now, especially great, down the stretch. Great defense here by the Bruins. And a turnover, the sixth in the past six minutes. Vanderhart struggling to get the ball up. Camden Gearhart will drive and swing to Vanderhart. Vanderhart stops on a dime. Goes to Pouncey. Pouncey. Brush. And the steal by Wagner. The Eagles desperately need a bucket here to end the drought. I've been trailing by eight for the past five minutes. Inside to Gertz. Gertz works inside and he's blocked at the summit of that shot. Kept alive by Wagner. Koski has to fire here soon. The floater good. That was dirty. That was a, that was a great basket. That was awesome. Over the seven footer. Wow. In order to get that shot up, you have to almost angle it. It's almost like catapulting something in the air and hopefully it drops at a sufficient angle. Brunson works on Wilkerson. Stops on a dime, Pouncey. Works on Pack. Pouncey to the cup. Basket no good. Wilkerson, the loose rebound. Great defensive effort by the Eagles right there and, and Colin starting that. Great ball fake to get to go inside the pack inside. Fading basket over the seven footer. That one no good. Here's Pouncey. Stickles to the table for Pensacola. Gearhart goes to Vanderhart. Vanderhart gets the switch off he wants. Vanderhart to the basket. He goes. Trust Has me. a patent on that swim move into the basket. Steven Fike Stickles as well as Lucas Hernandez to the table here for Pensacola. They go inside to Gertz. Gertz, the runner, no good. The tip back, no good as well by Wagner. The Eagles continue to trail by eight. Earhart guarded now by Stickles. And the switch off. Brunson. Goes to Gearhart and he'll fire. That, no good. Good stop, good stop right here. Let's, let's get a basket. Pack, great ball fake. Goes to Koski. Koski with the spin move to the basket. He goes, scooping layup, no good, but a foul. Way to bait the seven footer. Gearhart playing great vertical defense but I believe his verticality hindered Koski's shot in a way that the official was able to call a whistle. My coach back in uh, Mexico always used to say one of the things you can't teach is height, 
and number 50 just by being out there and, and staying vertical he's gonna he's going to affect a lot of shots um, Brentley's doing a good job by baiting him in and getting the foul and, and that floater we saw but we just we got to get him in foul trouble and I think that's gonna be pretty easy just because he's jumping a lot free throw good the second one at least Prokoski Wilkerson Anderson as well as Gertz out of the contest. Gertz for the first time in this matchup. Couples. Works on Koski. Couples goes inside to Gearhart. Gearhart with 10 to fire. Gearhart is fouled. Surprised they didn't call that on Fike a little sooner. He was being a little too handsy there. Right there, you just gotta let him, you know, stay vertical and let the defend, let the offensive player come to you. And um, he would have made the bad shot, but Fike was getting a little handsy with him. That sends Camden Gearhart to the free throw line and convert on two free throws. Gearhart averages seven points per game, three rebounds, and is a 77% free throw shooter on the year as the first one is pure. Pretty versatile big man. I mean, he's down low, he makes shots, he makes free throws. This is the 21st century um, seven footer. Oh, absolutely. Normally in, especially even in the early 2000s, a big man would just be planted on the low block. Yeah. Gearhart already with a perimeter shot. Two attempts, one make tonight. Wagner will fire! Boom, boom, boom! A much desperate needed shot there by Wagner. Here's Stickles now guarding Couples. Go to Gearhart. Couples tries to post up Stickles. Gearhart gets his defender in the air. Kenny Garrick loses his man temporarily. Basket no good. The Eagles an opportunity to go on a bit of a run before the conclusion of the first half. I want to give a quick shout out to Brentley getting all those rebounds. Kind of reminds me of uh, a young Ian Johnson when he was playing and getting all those rebounds for his height. Shot out of the rim. Wagner, a rebound attempt and is fouled on the putback. Great work by Wagner. Rebounding the ball with efficiency and giving the Eagles more life for offensive points. When you have a guard that can rebound and has the vertical that Brentley has, it, it does the, a lot of difference uh, for the big man because they can go out and, and run the floor and with a guy like Liam, you want him out in the offensive end uh, as much as possible. Wagner, second leading scorer last night. He had six rebounds as he misses the first free throw. Rather second free throw, cuts the deficit to five. Brunson will attack on Hernandez. Hayes Brush goes into a double team. Brunson guarded by Hernandez again. Garrick fakes going baseline. Couples goes inside and a foul. You know, Stickles right there got the, I would, I would say simple foul. But he's playing aggressive, and he, he's just letting number two know, hey, I'm here, I'm going to be bothering you the whole game. I, I like that kind of defense, honestly. That is Stickles' first foul of the contest. 1-1 free throws, the first one is good. Logic Couples, a rare miss in his last free throw attempt as he had three free throws to give the Bruins an eight-point lead. He's an 88% free throw shooter on the year and pushes the lead back to seven. Koski double teamed. Brush, an attempt for a save. We'll stay here southbound with Pensacola. We caught a break on that one. Wagner to fight. It's his defender in the air. Triple on the way, no good. And we're gonna stay here with Pensacola with a fresh 20 on the shot clock. Must needed basket right here. This is gonna really shift the momentum right here for the, for the end of this quarter, end of this half. Stickles works on Brunson. Skip pass to Hernandez and he'll fire. 
That three, no good. Kept alive by Fike. No call on the low block. He just couldn't secure the rebound there, but a good fight for Fike. Couples to Brunson. Good ball denial by Fike right there. He's really trying to get the ball, but Fike is just standing in front of him. Brunson gets his defender in the air, and Hernandez. It seems like the Eagles are leaving their feet a lot on their closeouts. That's the exact thing you don't want to do, especially with one-on-one -on -one free throws brewing here for the Bruins, Trevor Brunson. Yeah, once you leave your feet, you're exposed as a defender. The offensive player can do whatever, whatever he, he wants. wants. Yep, right. It's almost like having the keys to somebody's house. When I have the keys to the house, I can go in anywhere. I can go to the bathroom. I can go to the kitchen, go to the refrigerator. But that's you got to keep your feet planted on the ground, especially on a closeout. That's something that's taught very frequently, especially in this age of three-point shooting. Right, right, especially when you're closing out. It's really easy to just close out and, and jump, but, uh, but keeping your feet is important. I like the analogy there. 30-second timeout. We will step aside briefly. Trevor Brunson with blood on his jersey and also on, I believe, his left elbow. Having to change his jersey number once was three. Now wearing 44. It's getting scrappy out there. That's, that's what we want to see. And the 30-second timeout not in the Bruins' favor. Now the Eagles with a 14-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Koski picks up his dribble, and that's a turnover. Second time they're trapping Koski right there in that corner. He's got to be a little bit better knowing that the trap is going to come when, when he's closing himself out like that. Hernandez out of the competition for Wilkerson. Now a six second separation between the shot clock and game clock. They get it quickly back to Brush. Picks up his dribble. Great cut to the basket by Vanderhart. Back door. Backdoor cut right there. That was a really smart play by the Bruins. No shot clock here, but 20 on the game clock. The Eagles trailing by nine. Ties the largest lead of the game for the Bruins. Wilkerson goes to Wagner. Cross court pass to Fike. Fike attacks. Fike goes to Wagner. Wagner to the basket. Great shot. Deflection there by Vanderhart. But a quick turnover as well. Eagles trailing now by nine. Koski with two seconds to fire. Goes to Wagner. That one no good. Both teams struggling to shoot, especially in the later occurrences of this first half. PCC missing six of their last seven shots. BJU missing five of their last six shots. But the Bruins have a nine-point cushion entering the second half, Brian. Yeah, honestly, great game both ways. Um, the Eagles are just making those simple mistakes, but playing good on defense, so they're, they're making up for that. But um, I just I just want to see the Eagles win this game and, and do whatever they can to do that. So, um, yeah, exciting game. Can the Eagles get their first region championship since 2016? Can the Bruins get their third region championship in nearly 12 years of being a program? We'll figure out in nearly 15 minutes, but until then, Please enjoy these promotional videos and instant replays provided by our video team.
It's a passion that unites us. The heartbeat of everything we do. Since 1974, we've been building, reaching, expanding our limits. And yet today, one thing hasn't changed. Pensacola Christian College empowers leaders to influence the world for Christ. Want to get a head start in college? With Pensacola Christian College's online dual enrollment program, you can do just that. Open to juniors and seniors in Christian schools and Abeka Academy homeschoolers, dual enrollment students can take up to six online courses per year, all counting towards PCC college credit requirements. With three different options throughout the school year and summer and over 20 courses, choose to lighten your college load and, depending on your major, finish college early. You will be able to fit courses around your schedule, a perfect way to complete many of your general college education courses before you graduate high school and step foot on campus. To learn more about getting a head start on your education today, visit pcci.edu slash dual enrollment. Choosing a college is so much more than deciding where you're going to live for the next few years. It's choosing a culture, group of people, and academic standard that will shape you into the person you want to become. It's an exciting time, and when you visit campus, it gets even more exciting. It's your moment to get a feel for the atmosphere and community. Catch a game, sit in on classes, visit chapel, make new friends, and so much more. And now you can experience college life your way with multiple visit options. No matter when you come, you'll find a vibrant community influencing the world for Christ. You won't just blend in, you'll belong. So don't wait, see how you can experience PCC today.
Pensacola Christian College to even fathom the idea of winning a national championship. 120 minutes of basketball was required. They got it done the first 40 minutes against Trinity Baptist and an exhilarating victory. They got it done last night against Tacoa Falls. Now with 20 more minutes of the most important game of the season, can the Eagles get it done or can Bob Jones extend their winning streak to five games and be crowned once again the South Region Championship? Great pass inside to Liam Gertz. Lucas Fernandez in place for Luke Stickles tonight. Alvin Chapman alongside with Brian Ugaldi. The Eagles with a great cut inside in order for them to get points in the first goings of the game. Garrick, great cut to the basket. An attempt at a block for Koski, but as a whistle blown by the baseline official. This is it. This is the last 20 minutes of uh, the season for one of these two teams. Seems like, yeah, we, we got Lucas starting right now. Um, Lucas more of a, of a shooting guard. Uh, it looks like Coach Bell's gonna switch up the strategy, see if we can get some three-point shots in. Um, but a good start right there, right off the bat with the, with the cut and the easy basket. So let's, let's keep it going, Eagles. Garrick knocks down the first attempt. The second is true as well. Kenny Garrick leads all scores with nine. Eagles victorious in their first offensive possession. Baseline jumper no good for Hernandez. Rather Wagner Hernandez was left all alone in the corner nonetheless. Runs into Couples. Couples takes a screen. Earhart on the low block. Brunson regathers and takes a long two. No good. Good defense, I like it. We're staying aggressive. That's what we need for the entirety of this, this half. The Eagles have trailed at the half every time they faced Bob Jones this season. The first time they trailed 26, rather 28 to 36. The second time at home they trailed 35 to 28. This time they trailed 23 to, 20, to 32 rather. Can they be victorious in this matchup? We will see. Eagles with the fresh 20 on the shot clock. Koski goes up strong, no call. Seven footer changing shots. Same thing as the first half. We gotta, we gotta either draw him out or, or get him in foul trouble because he, he's influencing the defensive end every single time we have the ball. The only way to get a seven footer in foul trouble is by attacking the rim. Couples will launch a triple, no good. Gertz with another rebound. We'd love to see what Liam could do in the post uh, against him. See if uh, we could get him that way. Kurtz goes corner to Wagner. Great feed. Pack with the runner off the backboard and good. Kenny Garrick in the half court setting. Brunson goes to Gearhart. Kenny Garrick having a phenomenal game, will attack. Loses possession. And a stoppage of time here to relieve Kenny Garrick. Yeah, it seems like Brentley uh, bumped him and, and swiped down right on his face. That, that, that must hurt. Garrick, I believe, will have to go out of the game since the stoppage of time was for him. That will send in Shad Vanderhart. Actually, not for Kenny Garrick. But for Gearhart, that's interesting. <laughs> Garrick will attack. Garrick goes to Couples. Couples goes corner and a shot clock violation. Wipe that three point basket away and the opportunity for Kenny Garrick to get double digits. The first person for his team as he now has nine. Looking over here at the bench, Coach Getch was telling uh, Caden Pack to drive and, and dish out. Seems to be working right now, so let's see, let's see if they listen to Coach. Hernandez will fire too long. The Eagles, three of 13 from downtown tonight. Garrick will go to Vanderhart. Brunson will attack, goes out to Garrick. 
brush. Will attack, spin move. Off the backboard, no good. UJU scoreless in the past two minutes and 30 seconds. Great bounce pass inside. Layup, no good. Got to finish with the left on that one. It's almost like the food is free at the rim where the Eagles aren't trying to consume. Brush will attack. Brush, the contested try. No good, Gertz another rebound. The Eagles getting the defensive stops they want, but unable to convert at the rim recently. Yeah, great, great job on defense. We just gotta get the lid off the basket again in this first couple minutes. That's a turnover by Gertz. Now the Bruins with numbers. Gertz, a foul. That one on Elijah Couples. Gertz yeah. now has three fouls. Elijah got exactly what he wanted on that one. He waited for Gertz to come in, drew the drew the foul, and um, now is heading to the free throw line. What did you say? He was a 90% free throw shooter? 88. Yeah. So basically 90. Automatic right there. Elijah Couples now with eight points. Now seven. Majority of his buckets coming from the charity strike. The Eagles now facing a nine point deficit. Koski, guarded by Vanderhart. A hop step goes to Pack. Pack with the step through move, no basket, but a foul. Loving this offensive scheme here by the Eagles, not settling for the perimeter tries but puncturing the paint of the Bruins' defense. Yeah, I think that's what Coach Ketch was, was, was getting to, to pack about, is, is getting to the paint. And with Lucas in, there's always that threat of the three-point shot. So if it gets packed in there, packs can, uh, can dish it out. Caden Pack now with six points and four rebounds. The second game score for the Eagles now at seven. Now a seven point cushion here for the Bruins. Tostados Ponce goes to Vanderhart and a traveling violation. A turnover for Vanderhart. That's his second of the contest. Even fight to the table here for Pensacola. Lucas Hernandez goes inside to Gertz. Gertz nearly loses possession. Pack will go inside. Koski. Would have, if he would have caught it, it could have been an easy two off the glass, but the pass a bit too strong. Steven fight into the contest as well as Camden Gearhart. Fight with a great game yesterday. In about 20 minutes, four points, with phenomenal defense on Tyreek Perry, the big, with the goal falls. Yeah, fight's a big body out there. I actually thought he'd be coming in for Liam, but looks like uh, Brentley needs a rest. Hernandez goes to Wagner, now nine to fire. Pack goes inside to Gertz. Gertz, the floater is good. Now the Eagles cut it down to a five-point deficit. Great start, great start to the second second half here. Let's let's keep the momentum, the crowd's in it, I'm in it, Al's in it, let's get this done. Gearhart goes to Couples, Couples will launch a triple. No good, long rebound collected by Pouncey. Second chance opportunity here for the Bruins. Kenny Garrick, guarded now by Wagner. Garrick will attack, dumped it down to Gearhart. Basket good in the timeout by Coach Nuora. That gives now the Bruins a seven point lead with 14 minutes of basketball, a lot of time. Who will be the winner of the South Region Championship when we come back?
Kenny Garrick leading his team with nine points, shooting three, a seven from the field. Liam Gertz shooting 12 points, shooting five of 10 from the field. Alvin Chapman alongside with Brian Ugaldi. Brian, we have a matchup on our hands. The Eagles trying to be crowned, rather, the South Region champions and punching your ticket to the national tournament for the first time in 2016. Wagner will attack outside to Fike and he'll fire. Stephen Fike way off on the triple. That's exactly what you want to see offensively. Great ball movement and puncturing the paint presses, but unable to get the follow, rather the finish. Yeah, Fike on there, a good shot. Um, I, I think he might have rushed it a little bit. Would love to see us get more in the offense, but great start either way by the by the Eagles in this half. We want to keep, keep the momentum. Pouncey, rather, couples draws the foul on the Eagles defense. That went on back, that's in second. Stickles into the game for Lucas Hernandez. Defensive specialist right here, my favorite player on the Eagles, number four, Paul Stickles. Pouncey takes a screen from Gearhart. Garrick will attack. Garrick with a great finish, and he gets to double digits. Pack goes to Stickles. Wagner, shuffle pass inside to Fike. That's turned over. An attempt to force the jump ball. Let's see the verdict here from the official. The held ball is awarded, but we're switching possessions here. Heading southbound to Greenville. The Bruins have led by as much as nine, tying the current lead they have right now. Pack to guarding Pouncey. Derek has had a phenomenal performance tonight. Pouncey will attack on Pack. Dumps it down to Gearhart, and he lays it up for two. Camden Gearhart now with seven points. Too easy. That's way too easy. Eagles need to get in front of that guy. If he gets it down the rim, it's automatic. Shuffle pass to Gertz. Gertz lays it in and good. The Eagles playing a full court press now, man to man. Now leading by nine. Pouncey. There's a screen to free up Gearhart. Vanderhart will attack. Garrick, who's been the hot man here for the Bruins, will attack again, and he gets the whistle driving to the basket. We have to stop him going downhill. I mean, every time he goes downhill, something good happens for the Bruins. Someone needs to either drive him to a defender on the wing or you know take a charge. We, we just can't have him going to the basket every single time. He's too fast. Kenny Garrick Jr., a versatile player here for the Bob Jones Bruins in the first meeting between Bob Jones University and Pensacola Christian College. He was four of seven from downtown with a game winner to seal the deal. He had over Malachi Herbst, who recently just checked into the game. And now tonight, he has nine points on three of seven shooting. Another free throw is good. Now a 10 point lead for the Bruins. Inside out to Koski. Koski attacks baseline, dumps it down to Gertz. The floater's good. Liam is automatic down there. I mean, anytime he gets the ball, he is, uh, he, he, he's putting it in the bucket right there if anytime he gets it near the basket. Gertz now with 14. Gearhart getting guarded tightly by Gertz. Pouncey will attack baseline. Pouncey the layup good. That one just too easy. We got, he has to cut off the baseline right there. That is way too easy. But he might have been looking for the help right there on, on defense, but he, he's got to do the job of, of sending him out of bounds on that. Missile pass to Stickles. Koski attacks. Koski goes to Pack. Pack will fire. Boom! 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 And a timeout! Coach Bell a full timeout as the Eagles talk things over.
It's a passion that unites us. Liam Gertz with 18 points, leading all scores. The Eagles trailing now by seven. In the most important final seven minutes of this game, hi, I'm Alvin Chapman. Alongside me, Brian e. Goldie. Brian, the Eagles getting the baskets they need, but not the stops they need. It seems like the baseline is free access for the Bruins offense. It's just the drive. We, we, they are killing us on the drive. I don't think they've shot a lot. Here goes another one. Good Great steal. steal there by Malachi Herster. That's exactly what we needed to. Stop the drive. Stickles goes back to pack. Great ball rotation. Another three-pointer shot there by Pack. Rebounds his own miss. Quick feed to Koski, but he misses it. And a foul on Koski. Good job by Pack there, following his shot after that miss. Not a looks like kind of you know when he's gonna miss it because he goes right after right after his own rebound and too bad Brentley couldn't finish right there but uh but good effort though 10 more minutes at basketball theoretically the fourth quarter of this game Garrick takes the screen Hayes will go baseline Hayes basket in the foul the Eagles giving up that left corner baseline drive like it's a food pantry. Hayes now getting to the basket and converting on two. Hayes brush now with his second field goal of the game. And now a chance for six points. Yeah, another baseline drive right there. We There either has to be a help or just cut off immediately. We want to see the adjustment right here by the Eagles. It, we got to get a stop. If you don't make the adjustment, this may be a sad afternoon for the Eagles basketball players. 10 minutes left, that's it. Herbster inside, guarded by Vanderhart. Goes to Pack. Pack back to Herbster. Herbster to the basket, no good, but a foul. Good play by, there by, by two, those two players. They uh, Pack, good job on, on the bounce pass there, and Herbster, good screen, uh, and it gets the foul. So that, that's exactly what we need on offense. Herbster actually playing in his second ever region final championship. Last year, his team was the runner up, Maranatha Baptist University. He misses the first one. Camden Gearhart back into the game as well. He has nine points for the Bruins. Yeah, Herbster, great addition to the Eagles. Uh, GA, he, he knows the game, he's calm, and, and this is a perfect uh, situation for him. He uh, misses both free throws. Stickles had a chance to get it, but I believe one of his teammates told him that the ball was deflected off a Bruins player. Now the Bruins an opportunity to get their biggest lead of the game. Camden Gearhart. Wilkerson to the table, and an offensive foul. Great adjustment there by Caden Pack. Kenny Garrett getting downhill very frequently. He's leading his team in scoring 12 points. Great adjustment, and now an offensive foul on Garrett. That's his first personal. Yeah, great defensive effort right there. That's exactly what we need. He's driving every single time, and we either get a charge or a stop right there, and that's going to destroy their whole offense um, because that's what they're relying on right now. They're going inside and out. Gertz, a chance to operate. Turning jumper, no good. Herbster tries to keep it alive. Stickles with the pull down. They go inside to Wilkerson. Down low to Herbster. Herbster access denied. Gearhart with the rejection. Garrett going downhill. Garrick gets another foul call. 
number 50 is uh, affecting the, our offense every single time we go down low. Anytime he's in the game, it just seems like shots are going everywhere and he's just affecting every single shot. So here are with his third block of the game. Kenny Garrett has drawn four fouls in this game as well. Unable to convert at the free throw line nonetheless. Conlon into the contest here for Liam Gertz. Gertz now with four fouls. That may shoot our Achilles heel as well. Gertz, our leading scorer with 18 on the night. Who do you expect to step up here in absence of Gertz, who will possibly be gone for the remainder of this game? I mean, we got the players to do it, Fike, and, and you see uh, number 13 come in, so they just need to step up. This is a, a big moment for them. Wolverson, the mid-range jumper, that one's off the mark. And again, I mean, it's just like a broken record, 50 affecting the shot on that one, closed out, and it, it's tough to shoot in front of a seven-footer, so I, I don't blame him. Couples, the spin move. Gearhart. Brunson comes off a screen from Couples. Couples. Dumps it down to Gearhart. Brunson will attack. Three to fire. That's no good. The Eagles desperately need a basket here. Down by double digits. They swing it to Sickles. Inside, intended to Malachi Herster with a kickball violation on Brunson. I'd love to see the Eagles drive to the basket and get some fouls. I, I think um, they're playing a lot in the outside game, but I want to see Brentley call in someone going to, to drive. Timeout called by Brantley Koski as he was trapped in the corner. We will step aside briefly. One of two things can happen at this point of the game. The Eagles can go on the run and make this game a competition, or the Bruins can ride into the sunset in Greenville, victorious in this matchup. Alvin Chapman alongside with Brian Ugaldi. Brian, the Eagles just unable to convert points here. Conlon, the contested three-point try. I think I spoke too soon. Yep, exactly the person I said has to step up. Um, we, we, we have to step up right now that Liam is, is gone and, and we need to get points from somewhere. Great job by um, number 13. Gearhart set up down low. Gearhart works on Conlon, layup no good. Brush can't bring down the layup. Koski goes inside, dumps it down to Herbster. Gets his defender in the air and a foul. Elijah Couple slow to get up here. Yeah, it seems like he got the, the wind knocked out of him. That, that's worse, but he took it like a champ. That is Gearhart's second foul of the contest. Herbster back to the free throw line, was one of two in his last visit. Knocks down the first one. A lot of basketball remaining here, Brian. Yeah, this, we, we have time. We have a lot of time. But we have to get the ball in the basket. I mean, that's how we're going to win the basketball game. We're playing great defense. We just got to convert, um, get some time for Liam to rest up and, and, and take care of those fouls. On the steal attempt, Koski gets the foul. That is Koski's third foul of the game. And that's a region foul as well. Yeah, we, we can't afford to have Liam and Brentley out of the foul game. foul trouble, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. The Eagles now down by six. First free throw, one-on-one -on -one try for Brunton is good. Those are those fouls where you can definitely avoid. 
So, uh, especially for Brentley, he needs to be smarter on, the, on that play. We need him down the stretch. Brunson, an 84% free throw shooter, knocks them both down. Stretches the lead back to a deficit of eight. Koski to Stickles. Koski will attack. Koski picks up his dribble and goes to Colin Wilkerson. Wilkerson goes outside to Stickles. Stickles goes to Wilkerson. Wilkerson, the runner, is good. Great pass by Stickles right there. And great ball movement. We're passing, we're cutting, we're finding the right guy. Let's keep this, this going. Liam Gertz back into the game with four fouls. Gearhart will attack. Gearhart get the bucket and the foul for the seven-footer, Camden Gearhart. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, great play. There's really not much you can do if, if you're calling there. I mean, I would have liked no foul on that one, but, uh, but yeah, he's playing really well. The Eagles now forced into the bonus for the remainder of the game. One shy of the double bonus. The Bruins with 14 fouls. Liam Gertz with four back into the game. Gearhart missed a very important free throw, honestly. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, Eagles are still in the game. We are still in the game, and there's so much time on the clock. We just need a, we need a possession right here. Koski goes to Gertz somehow. Gertz gets inside and goes straight to work. Yeah, automatic, automatic. Great pass by Koski. Anytime Gertz get it, gets it around there, it's going in. Couples guarded now by Stickles. Couples goes inside to Hayes Brush. Brush trying to get Gertz his fifth foul. Brush goes around the other side. The reverse layup is good. Looks like uh, the game plan might be uh, attacking Attack Gertz. Gertz. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So uh, you gotta be careful. Koski, spin move. Basket just out of the rim. We gotta stop attacking number 50. I mean, every time he, he's on us, he, he's, he's making us miss the shot. So we need to find another way to either get him out of the defense or, or get a foul or something. Conlin. Adjustment by Brush, no good. Great rebound by Camden Gearhart. Gearhart. Hayes Brush. Will fire, no good. And the fans will let him have it. Koski, now five minutes even on the game clock. The Eagles, three of four of the last possessions. Koski, gets the traveling violation. Yeah, Colin was open down there, Koski, he didn't see him. It's okay though, we're, let's just keep our heads up and, and keep playing the, how we're doing. We're doing really well. The most important five minutes of the season after this timeout. with the possession, now only trailing by eight points. Actually, the Bruins with the possession. Four minutes and 45 seconds will decide who the regional champion is in the South region. Brunson, there's Couples. He'll attack and a foul. I get it. 
The Eagles are excited. I mean, it's the last five, four minutes uh, to, to end potentially the season, but we need to, to get more concentrated on those easy fouls. Like, this is just free points at this point for this guy. 90% free throw shooter. We need to stop uh, doing this, these little chippy fouls, simple fouls, so. The Eagles allowed it, now allowing the Bruins to have 23 free throws tonight compared to their 10. Those are attempts. And another rare miss there for Couples. Still a game here for Pensacola, only trailing by nine. Pack goes inside to Koski. Koski, another pack. The Eagles passing the ball very efficiently. Somebody has to score. Yeah, we're, I think we're looking for Liam. <laughs> that that, that, that seems the, is the game plan right now, so that's good. But, uh, but we need someone else to step up. I mean, Liam is not going to be able to win this game by himself. Gertz inside. <laughs> Maybe he will be able to win it by himself. <laughs> Liam Gertz with 22 on the night. Couples off the screen will fire. Wow. That is a knifing triple there to push the lead to double digits. Now three minutes and 45 seconds remaining. Gertz will attack. Gertz picks up his dribble. Pack goes to Koski. Koski goes to Pack. Pack, shuffle pass inside to Gertz. A lot of contact, no call. An attempt to be kept alive by Gertz, and it is. Gertz will attack. Gertz, the layup, good! Rare miss, rare miss by Gertz right there, but yes, <laughs> good job. Liam Gertz, now with 22 on the night, rather 24. He's averaging 25 and 10 in this tournament. Now the Eagles, seven points separate them in a regional championship. Vanderhart with a traveling violation. Oh wow, this reminds me of the girls game yesterday, the girls being down by six, but ended up winning against Bob Jones University after a layup made by Leah Phelps. It's that home court advantage, we have the momentum, great defense by Blaze. Let's go Eagles. Pack, guarded now by Brunson. Gertz has been on a run on his own. Wilkerson will shuffle it into Pack. Pack into Gertz. Gertz off the back for good! Liam Gertz with 26! Can't now go. a six point game. The Eagles were down by as much as 11 in this game. Couples pull up jumper. Good! And a timeout. Elijah Couples now 13 points, rather 15. Man! Yeah, great, great play by Couples. I mean, you can tell this guy's a veteran. That jumper was the needle to pop the balloon of the Eagles' hopes, possibly. A lot of basketball remaining. The Eagles now trailing by eight. The Eagles trailing now by eight. Two minutes and 20 seconds of the most important matchup of the game. Liam Gertz going three of four in the last couple minutes. He brings the ball up here for Pensacola. Gertz will attack and hand it off to Wilkerson. Gertz with 26. Koski goes to Pack. Pack with the hop step. Picks up his dribble, goes into Gertz. Gertz. 
draws a lot of contact, goes up strong, and stops the clock. I can't even talk. <laughs> I am uh, I'm getting nervous for these guys. Um, Gertz is, is putting the team on his back. Quite literally. Yeah, we, we need someone else to step up. We need another way of finding an offensive basket. Fatigue may be a factor in these free throws. Gertz taking him and his team on the bus through Highway 50. Second attempt good for Gertz. Now with 27, the Eagles now trail by seven as well. Derek goes to Couples. The last time Pensacola Christian College hosted this tournament, the Bruins were victorious in the region final of victory over Trinity College of Florida. Couples goes baseline. Couples goes up strong. Couples with the finish. Baseline again. I mean, there's nothing much to say on that. Now a minute and 30 seconds. They need to score quickly here. Kosky attacks. Goes to Conlin. The Eagles do not have time on their side. Goes to Wilkerson. That ball is tipped. And a turnover. Calling, pleading with the ref. He did not touch it from my angle. It, it didn't look like he did, uh, but I mean, hey, that's why the refs get paid the, the big bucks. Make the tough calls. Brunson looking to drain a lot of clock here. Now just under a minute remaining. The Bruins, one minute from being crowned regional champions. There's a double screen. Don't go to couples and a foul. Here comes free throw attempts 25 and 26 here for the Bruins. Elijah Couples, not the greatest free throw outing night for him. Normally he's perfect, but seven of nine tonight, that one perfect. Yeah, I don't want to count out the Eagles just yet. Anything is possible, but we, we need a quick bucket. I mean, that's the only way I think we're going to win this. The issue is the Eagles are trying to feed it inside to the hot man, Liam Gertz, but it's taking the majority of the shot clock for him to score. Gertz inside to Koski. The Eagles need to score quickly here. Gertz outside. Step back, jumper on the way. No good. Liam Gertz has taken the last five attempts here for Pensacola. And the Bruins now with 37 seconds remaining from being crowned the champions. Garrick will look to get it over. What a run here by Pensacola. They defeated the three seed, they defeated the two seed. And now the Eagles 24 seconds away from falling to Bob Jones University yeah. in the South Region Championship. Good effort by the Eagles. I mean, it's this, this is a game as big as it gets at home court. We make it to the finals. We're the last seed. I mean, they played their hearts out. I mean, I, there, there's nothing more you can ask for this team. So. Brunson with the two free throws to seal the deal. Koski will bring it up. Pack to Wilkerson. Back to Pack. He'll fire. That's no good. Wilkerson will fight for it in the jump ball. Now seven seconds to the conclusion of this ball game. 67 to 54 to score. This team faced against each other three times this season. And that will do it. The Bruins have punched their ticket into the South Region Final and are the 2024 South Region Champions. Congratulations, Elijah Couples with 19 points, four of seven from the field. Garrick, 13 points, four of eight from the field. Way to fight by the Eagles, all the way till the end. Great game, congratulations to, to every single one of them and uh, goodbye to the seniors. Um, yeah. Liam Burtz averaged 25 points 
in this tournament. Three blocks and 10 rebounds. But that will possibly do it for their season as they fall here in the South Region Championship. The Bruins punch their ticket to the promised land, the National Championship in Minneapolis, Minnesota, hosted by Crown College. Great, great game. Great game nonetheless. No, absolutely. The Eagles put up a solid fight. Liam Gertz did all he could and all he had. But it was the play by the guard core of Garrick and Couples that made the Bruins successful in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, a, a great defensive effort by, by uh, I keep forgetting his name, but number 50. I mean, he really changed the, the outcome of on the defensive end. So, uh, man, sour, sour, but, uh, but, but great season and, and great game. Sour indeed is the feeling, especially wanting to see the Eagles, since they took down the three seed in Trinity Baptist, took down the two seed in Tacoma Falls, but the Eagles fall to a score of 67 to 54 in the region championship. Brian, thank you so much for joining me here today. Although a bittersweet taste in your mouth, you did a fantastic job broadcasting this matchup. Thank you, anytime, and uh, yeah. Till next season. Till next season, indeed. The Eagles only losing two seniors this year. Majority of the players returning, but congratulations to the Bob Jones Bruins, who are now the 2024 South Region Champions of the year. What a phenomenal game they had. They are victorious in 20 of their last 21 victories. They extend this five game win streak as they prepare to go to Minneapolis for the playoffs. Thank you so much fans at home for joining us here today as Kenny Garrick hosts the banner. What a matchup here tonight as the Bruins prepare to cut the netting. A bittersweet feeling that possibly the Eagles will never forget having the Bruins, a rivalry that they have, celebrate on their home court. Don't go too far, the Eagles will face off against Tacoa Falls College in the region final for the girls. But until then, Congratulations to the Bruins. Alvin Chapman alongside with Brian Ugaldi saying thank you. Have a great day.